hello my crafty friends welcome back to my channel and look at this I actually finished my dream home <laughs> I love this diamond painting guys it is so pixelated for me to see from close but from far you can see I think everything in here there's a gorgeous gorgeous tree in here and the beautiful Victorian house with the barn and a back up there there's an old-fashioned car in here I assume this is like bushes of flowers or something like that um, yes this tree looks amazing in here um, so what I did I finished the whole thing I finished in one day and a half well let's just call it two days guys this was such an easy canvas to work on unbelievable and I at night um, like very late I use my light board and it really helps me for example just turn it off and work at night that I don't need my uh, daylight from the desktop so I can turn it off totally lights in the room and just work with this light pad I really love it um, so if anybody interested I did uh, two unboxing I have two of them different little bit um, very very similar to um, so I do have unboxing but if you want I can link it up for you so uh, what I did in here already I'm just gonna put this a little bit up there aside let's see hold on guys let me just put this away up there so what I did after I finish of course I always cover back and then I have this awesome braider tool that I did just uh, you know this this glue is really good it's grab and drills really well and I just want to make sure I stick them nicely because uh, lots and lots of drills in here I placed by three multiplacer and I love to work with three multiplacer and round drills ex especially uh, not so much on a square one, but the, the rounds feels like it's better to work uh, with the multiplacer. Now, what I did after this, I did already uh, this side. And guys, by the way, thank you very much. It's you the one who picked this diamond painted to be uh, done first. I did not know that so many of you love countryside um diamond paintings like this it feels like it's dreams of everybody especially I think um, my age people that we love to be like in peace somewhere like away from the city uh, young people more like to live probably in the city and have a party but uh, I would love just to have a peace and quiet sit in a porch up there somewhere um, and it's beautiful so what I did next I use this tool and I did I think this much in here um, and let me try to zoom I did uh, even up all my row this tool is amazing it's really sturdy it's not flimsy so when you place it straight on a row and you just slide it over then you can slide it over from another side uh, and I'm going to show you close up how this tool work wonderful. Uh, let me see how much we can zoom in to show you those beautiful drills. And guys, now purposely I'm going to put sideways and let me find the tree. Okay, we can see there's little wiggles in here, right? So let me find a spot. Well, let's just say I want to be here. And let me get to that. And what I want to show you. Wait, okay. Now here's you're going to see. How those beads actually get pushed. Let's see if I can zoom even more, guys. This is 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I cannot zoom any close, but watch how this tool will push beads and strain them up. I will do very slowly. You see how it's pushing aside? So whatever beads was placed not straight, this tool will do a miracle. And let me now go on the next row, just in here, so we can see. Um, I might gonna put my camera a little bit on different angles, but I think you see what is going on in here, right? Let's see the next one, just like in here, this corner. And if I do slowly, the beads get pushed and even up. So I did like this all this side and let's see let me show you a little bit like close up I think you can see if we can find a focus you can see how this row is actually straight can you see that so after so this side I did not uh, okay so this side I did not straighten out yet but I did this one and looks really really good if i can show you like this way well this way probably you can see how straight and perfect those lines are you see guys it doesn't matter if it's dark in a room or not you can see lines go very nice and straight now let's check it out if it's going to be straight as much as there because uh, as much as I like to place my beads nice and straight, I think we will see a little bit different. Like the white color, I can see the little wiggles up there. Can you see that? Like, let me grab a... Pay attention, like, to this area, okay? You see? It's a little bit wobbly. It's not as straight as should be. And the other and the whites you can see as well. Okay, here is the browns color. So what I want to say, as much as many of you would say this is already good, I still going to do absolutely each row. Um, I finished probably on the end of the tree somewhere in here. So I will continue do this uh, after my video. And then after I done my rows, what I do next. So just for in case if you didn't see my videos before, after I do this, I of course, I don't know why, but I always put my sheet back. Then I roll it. Okay. And I always start to do this piece on a very first row. So the beads would push away and it's go. And then after I do this, I will go and straighten up my row this way too if I have to, okay? Uh, horizontal and vertical. Now what else, guys, I want to show you quickly. How much beads left? I did not run out of any drills. Look at this. The amount of drills left, it's huge absolutely each color I don't even need to worry usually when I start new bag I put like a half of the bag and then I know the other half I never gonna use it because it's gonna be enough so this is wonderful I will link it up for you this diamond painted as well and thank you for voting one vote was for this cottage first and then was next to the notebook so we will do both of them together today make sure you stay to the end of this video and let's go drill with me together a little bit so now together with you we're gonna make this journal I already zoom camera as much as possible so we can look and first color we're gonna place it's number eight clear glass sparkles so let's open up and do together and hopefully will stick really really good let's check them out so number eight we're gonna place right on the top of the number it's 
so yes journal was like number one in your votes guys what you like to see first for me to do and the cottage one or I would call Victorian country site what I want to know about this journal how this gonna feel after touching it with hands and stuff how this gems will handle um, if it's gonna be like easy coming out or not and you know what I was thinking first I thought I would seal them with resin but then I'm thinking if I seal with resin this cover will be really really kind of hard right now it's more like a flexible and applicable so I'm not sure so I'm really look forward to actually put these gems and see how this gonna work maybe we will not need any seal or of course if you take care of nicely like if you put this journal somewhere on a desk and maybe not inside of the bag so it's rubbing in something we'll see how this gonna handle just gonna wipe excess of the glue like this that's it and discard this little piece so it doesn't gonna stick on the top of your gems Make sure to wait to the end of the video to see the sparkle because we're gonna see both of them. There's two high votes, one of them journal. So I just, you know, it's summer, it's so hard to get my little girl on the same mode to drill together she wants to relax or play with kids so I decide you know it's gonna be probably for a while if I have to wait till she decides to drill with me to get her journal so I'm gonna finish my journal first so we at least see how this gonna work already there this leaf um, here this leaf remind me same style as sometimes I making them um, with beads when I do this uh, seed beads most known as a Russian leaf design with seed beads I like to make those. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna put jams on this leaf in here. pretty
when I drill, I see that um, lots of beads in here. You can see kind of like a foil wrinkle, like on the bottom. But also, I know that lots of gems will left over. So I'm picking up right now those ones that are the best shine and not like foily looking, which I did place one in here. I should just take it off right now and replace with better one. Very sunny outside. It's perfect to video to do video of the finished project, like on the sun. I see in here. I'm gonna look right now closely. The numbers you see how they look foggy, like a little bit smudged, and here number nine, like very clear. And here is smudged, but it, this glue is sticky, so shouldn't be a problem. Okay, where is next? You up there. Right in here. I think it's one just fall. No, this one's good. On oh, this one, fall without number. There. I thought I lost a bead. Now we're gonna do this little one. It's fun. I just hope the gems will stay nice and strong. So guys, um, the third uh, favorite picture that you asked me to do, I think that was the iris flowers. So probably that's what I'm gonna start. It's a little bit bigger canvas. You know what I did today? I asked my husband to hold the diamond painting through the window facing outside. And I went outside and look how this looks like if, for example, my diamond painter would stay in a window facing the road. Oh my god, that was so sparkle. It was so pretty. I love that.
So I think we have enough of this color with you. I will get back to you when I'm gonna do some different color. So I did all the white gems. Now we will place a little bit together number 11 and that's a beautiful yellow gems. Okay. Sometimes when gem doesn't stick too good, it's mean they have on the back of the gem that little like a boat dent. Just put them back on a tray and use the other one that stick much better and after I did my silver one I did roll them with the rolling tool and I will do this after each color to make sure my drills stick really good to the glue looks already so pretty okay. after yellow gems I think I will go blue color because I already uh, found two blue gems was inside of the tray with uh, my yellow one so I did just place them there and looks like they are so pretty okay let's see 11 11 okay few dots in here one in here, one in here, and then we're gonna fill up the sleeves. Okay, let's get started. I had to pause video a little bit. And now we're gonna place this beautiful gems that always remind me of a drop of honey. And I love honey. Especially when it's pure, not the one that's from the store, like a natural, natural honey. There is not much sugar, but just like a natural stuff from the bees. I'm wondering right now, probably the same as you think. How long will it take to the gems to start to coming out if you touch them? Well guys, I don't know if we can figure out this or not till we actually use it and know. But I will let you know by the kind of like a feeling with my fingers and tell you how that feel and if this will come out easy or not. And maybe I will come up with some idea how we can seal them a little bit but without pouring over the glue or some I don't know for now we just having a fun and see sometimes doesn't stick it's mean just grab the other one, there is more flat on the bottom. There. Now there's uh, not very much. Oh no, it is okay, it's in here yellow. I can see the wiggle in here we're gonna place in here I'm just gonna put these gems close to me and that's the most comfortable way for me to work 
because then I'm just moving my wrist without moving my shoulder all the way. Just make sure to hold your tray steady so you don't spill on the glue. It was a canal day today open in a local here next city where I live. So we went up there, there's a band playing, some vendors and nobody yet selling the diamond paintings. I surprised that it's still don't have here like all over. Not yet. But they do have some diamond painting like partials at the store. Uh, I see it on TV and sometimes I can see in our local Walmart. But not like from the tent as like a vendors. No, not yet. So I wonder if you guys Canadian live maybe in Toronto some area. Uh, CNE, that's where I'm gonna go and if any of you plan to go to CNE Toronto exhibition, I wonder if this year will have diamond paintings up there. I was looking last year, did not see not even one. And I thought they were already kind of popular, but wasn't yet. So I wonder if this year any booths will be up there with diamond painting. Like as I say, um, I'm gonna show you. See how in here, um, I know that this is number seven, but in here it's getting like a little smudge. But obviously it's go all the way on the line one color, so it's easy to recognize. But here is kind of like a smear smudge. Um, I guess whatever um, they printed on this cover doesn't stay ink very well and they cover with the plastic sheet before it's dry out so it got a little bit smudged so if you planning to give it to somebody as a gift maybe um, before ordering you ask the seller if it's possible to make sure the numbers is not smudged but I don't see any problems because if you see at least one number in here clear, then you know for sure all the numbers up there are the same. So it's not a problem for me, but if you are very picky, <laughs> make sure you ask for the better one. I'm not complaining of, about this. It's fun to do. And it's not square popping drills, oh guys, I just so glad that they finished that canvas, there was just flowers, oh, I still thinking when I gonna fix it, and I definitely will fix it on the camera so you can see, and maybe will help you to do the same, but for now, it sits on my table, I don't want to even touch it yet. I'm just chilling after and doing something that is easy and fun. Alright, next one. Okay, just have to make sure I'm on the camera, guys. And I'm picking the gems that are the best quality because no one says deal company they are very generous on drills and I can tell you that I finish all those white ones and look how much left that's a lots of gems up there guys left so I'm sure it's gonna be lots of left of this one too and that's why I'm not complaining if I can see like foil looking gem because that's why they give you so much more percentage of the drills so you can pick the best one of the bunch okay
think later on I'm gonna take my baby girls swim in the backyard in the pool it's really hot outside so and it's pretty quiet from her room she probably fall asleep after walk by the canal tomorrow we're probably gonna go there and see fireworks they put all this beautiful display of fireworks on the closing of canal days I think those clear gems was the most of them. Uh, number 11, they almost finished. Just a little bit more, one more swirl besides this one that we working right now. only one left right here see I know that um, I cannot see really number in here but I know it's 11 because the yellow symbol so I'm just gonna place 11 and all we have left 11 it's here and we can move on to our next color I decide this time because it's such a little project I did not put my gems into the baggie I just like cut straight up from the plastic like you know like this I just cut and placed them on a the tray uh, I'm gonna show you in a minute how I work in here because I know for sure I'm gonna be finished this today and I will take my gems to my leftover gems that I have from some other projects and try to coordinate colors and put them all together okay I think it's that's it for the number 11 so let me zoom out a little bit okay I'm gonna first put my gems that leftovers into the baggie right there they are a little bit sta uh, static I uh, just don't have with me right now guys I was gonna bring my dryer sheet that worked the best but I was lazy to go to the laundry room to get it and I couldn't find the one that I was using already so here it is my second color that's a good amount left of the drills right and here is what I do I just put them on a big tray like this right so now I'm gonna open next one and the one that I work with I'm gonna place in here and our next one will be I think I want to do this beautiful beautiful blue color it's like a royal blue Before I do that, I'm using my roller. I can link it up for you. The one the kit I received. Remember, I got a kit and like this with my Star Wars characters. You can find the video. Um, okay, so after each color, I'm just gonna roll them all the time. After each color, just to make sure 
they are stick to this leather car uh, I don't know what kind of it's not it feels like no maybe paper I don't know what kind of cover on this book but I'm just gonna roll every single time to make sure my drill stays good and now number 10 it's those blue outlines that you see red oh, see a few reds went in here actually not red orange so when it, you have like this different colors uh, get to your drills usually I find the bag which one and it says number nine so I'm just gonna like right away put them on a number nine in here um, so what I want to say round drills usually jumping out if you shake them from side to side so I start from this way and then I can do this way a little bit as well but I think we have enough right now here line up so first I'm gonna give rid of those two orange one that I have in here and it's number nine there and now we can place our blues so let me zoom back come on focus there Okay, I'm gonna put tray back in here and let's rock and roll. Guys, I need to redo my nails, they already overgrown a little bit and they are kind of too long. I want to make them shorter and do something new because I was doing this day's garden and um, one day we put like 10 yards of mulch and yesterday and today we did another 12 yards of mulch it's tiring I feel really sore and to have a long nails inside of the working gloves kind of pushing and it's hurting so I need to make them shorter because I still have uh, one more yard to do with the mulch and that's usually my job of gardening stuff well done okay same thing and here you see how um, numb okay you cannot see nothing because I'm not showing you on camera you see how smearing here kind of color but I can see very well so this is number 10 so I just I know it's number 10 plus I kind of I see very good in here numbers but in here it's a little bit like less visible so it's number seven but you can see seven good in here and you know it's go all the way around so uh, like for me it's not a problem but I have to tell you that this is possible and I saw one more unboxing uh, who was it I think oh my god look how cute Natalie not her name too uh, I think she did it unboxing and and she pointed out that her journal was smudge numbers a little bit too I think I think it was her that's a beautiful blue color more and more usually my two favorite colors guys it's a 
baby blue and baby pink and if they have a combination of two of them I absolutely love it and then blue and brown I like combinations and more and more I start to kind of liken this particular blue color is like a, a royal blue oh I love it always kind of remind me Princess Diana with this color when I work So yeah, I can't believe I did not record, guys, for you my Victorian farmhouse or cottage, I don't know, no, it's not like a cottage, like a Victorian countryside. I was so into it and I wanted to finish so fast and it was so much fun to do, then I did like in a day and a half. It was really fast. It just around real so easy to do. After a square one, especially after the one square that I had like such a bad experience and when I start those round gems, oh my god, I was like, it's so good and so easy and fun. And gems was really good. Sorry guys, this cover keeps squeaking. Some of you absolutely hate, some of you love it. But I have to keep my hands protected not to stick to the glue. Alright, that looks so pretty already. You know what, it's just gonna be a beautiful to see how all these colors will be coordinated together but so far look how pretty already oh boy i can't wait to see when i'm gonna place those gold ones remember that is like a pure 24 karat gold I'm not joking that's the way how look like okay so do you want to watch more i don't want to make a video too long If too long video guys just watch in pieces <laughs> or skip to the end but then there's possibility you can miss out on some information that I'm talking just stay with me keep me a company unless I'm just talking to myself here which I am but I'm just pretending you are here with me. Oh, here you go. Little puppy bark outside. So body have to check it out it's gonna walk back and forth making the noises with his cloth I can't believe today like it just it's so hot day when we went to canal days right the like asphalt is boiling hot and people come there with their dogs and I'm just like feel so sorry for their puppies and I tell to my little girl I cannot believe they walk in pets not in a grass area but in the asphalt so she's like take it off her slipper or flip-flop to check if it's really hot and she say wow it's burning hot and she was feel bad too for all those puppies up there who's walking on asphalt 
Ay, ay. People just do not understand that dogs could be in pain as well and burn their feet with no protection. Okay guys, not to make a video too long, I will finish this color by myself and maybe some other color and then I will back with you when I start to work on this uh, fun, beautiful, different shape, special gems, okay? That way this video is not going to be very, very long. Guys, I'm having a blast in here. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun placing it. So we're gonna place now this special gems. I already placed some of them, this teardrop yellow, because I went outside with my little girl. She was swimming and I just decided to take with me this little diamond painting notebook. And I took my portable little table that I show one time in my video. So I was doing this outside a little bit and then I, you know, I said to her, let's go because I have to do a video to show a little bit those beautiful gems placed together with you ladies. And gentlemen, I know there's a gentleman up there too watching. There's not many of this number three, just some in here. It's not only fun to do this, but also it is so good feeling knowing that lots of gems left over. Uh, all right, when I'm looking at right now, I don't think there's any number three here left. So I'm gonna put them in back into the baggie. If I can open. Lots of special gems left as well. Now we're gonna go do, I don't know, should we do this gold one? I really wanted to do like on the very, very end. But I think I'm just gonna do them now. They are so beautiful. I never have this yellow beads like this before. I'm just gonna put a little chunk of paint, I guess. It's like a gold gold nugget, see? Eh? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna put too many because I think it's gonna be lots of left for some reason. I think it will be. So let's see. Number one, we have some around this big flower. Let's place them. Um, when I was doing outside, I placed those white little pearl, and that exactly remind me that partial diamond painting that I have the mandala. Oh, this pearl is just put this all this um, kind of all those bits together. It makes pop and and feels so beautiful with those pearls. So I think these pearls make a big deal um, on this book. It looks so good. Wait till I show you more clothes. Have to really kind of push them. Make sure they stick. Let's see one in here. There and around these flowers okay i need 
couple more. I don't have a sticky sheet anymore on the top of this book because mostly already covered so and I kind of try not to touch with my hand, arm where it's sticky area. Okay, I think we're done with, oh no, one more in here. One more bead, just gonna pick like this. And I lost, okay, one in here, one here in the center. And I think I saw somewhere else. One, two. Do you see any more? Okay, I don't see for now. So I think we are done with this one. Gold one and also left a lot. Now we're gonna do this beautiful number two. It's around here. Um, I don't know, just I'm looking forward to see like whole thing finished to see the combination of the colors, how they pick good or not. Like right now where I'm looking, it's already, uh, for example, in here, red gems already, little gems, and now it's going to be big gems. I feel like it should be maybe uh, different colors. I wouldn't mind to have in here, for example, even those big pearls oh hold on I'm not placing the, no 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 that's not the one number two okay yeah phew I thought I'm placing in the wrong color guys got myself spooked there those big gems I think you deserve it to place together with you I was gonna do by myself but then I feel guilty because I love to watch when somebody else plays the special beads. So I thought I better record. I have to say that this uh, this particular red gems, they kind of, I know there's lots of going to be left them. I'm just going to pick this one. I don't like the way this one look. Feels like it's not perfectly round. So I'm just going to replace it. And then there's lots of them, so I don't have to. I don't have to place bad ones if I have a better ones, right? There's lots in here, and I know it will be left over. So I'm just gonna pick the most perfect one. Plus, I still have a lots in the bag. and more two let me put them all in here so I can pick the best one they are not bad as you can see but for example this one I have a sides around and one of them was like a little bit crooked not exactly around so we don't have to place them we can place those that are good. So only left in here with this one is this little flower here. One goes in the center. I wish the center maybe would be like a white big pearl. Maybe it would be stand out better. But whoever designed and picked beads, I don't know. Um, you know the, the other journal with the owl have those big big pearls if you didn't see my box and go ahead and check it out so I don't know if I would just probably pull out maybe even this red one and put white pearl I think it will be like a pop center a little bit more better that just um, my idea I don't know I will have to see and check it out when when my little girl will fin finish her other book then I will of course she will have beads left overs plus I have this 
uh, big pearls left from my other diamond painting so I might gonna replace the centers I'm not sure now guys the only left in here what I see so far it's number four and we are done okay okay this one in here will go to the baggie just gonna put this back in the bed And now we have left those um, red teardrops. Okay. Are we ready to place them all? No, because um, the wax is not going to pick. Pro oh no, I'm still picking. not very sticky I need to get a little bit more wax because these drills are big and not getting on okay now we shouldn't have a problem to finish up and then we're gonna check of course outside how this is gonna sparkle Sometimes when I shoot my video outside, like the finished project, my neighbors cross the street, <laughs> see all the sparks and come over watch. Look what I'm doing. And we are done and we still have left five of this dot and there's one blue in here intruder okay. all right guys so for the journal let me zoom out and I'm gonna tell you that really good news about that absolutely every color lots of lots of gems left I'm just trying to be careful not to spill them so for now I'm just gonna clip them with my clipper here and put them right away in the containers after I done with this video I will place this and roll a little bit just make sure everything is stuck nicely and I think now we're gonna go and check this out outside what you see what you saying I think we should so let's go outside all right now we're gonna see our two projects it's evening it's not much sun right now but we still can see the sparks have its place looks beautiful oh my god it's beautiful wow i loving it look at those gems and it's like it's it's very late now already um it's a sunset but still you can see the sparks maybe if I can get a little bit higher to the Sun do I see my shadow I think it's gorgeous so when I touch it feels good on touch feels like gem sticks really good but depends how you care if you put in your backpack if it's for students maybe you should seal with something uh, but if you just hold in a like on your desk oh my god this is going to be so beautiful to give as a gift uh, for somebody to keep it on the top of the desk 
like a business lady maybe doctor I don't know guys this is definitely a beautiful gift idea so I do recommend and this is just gorgeous look at the play beautiful all right next one we're gonna see our cottage all right guys this is my dream home that I wish to have a little cottage Victorian house from far this picture looks so beautiful um, I don't know how much sparkle we're gonna see this angle I might have to change it I think you can see it Beads is really really sparkle 